coverage of the 26th annual meeting of the ASMBS is sponsored by Allergan, makers of the Lap Band AP system. Hi, this is Leslie Thompson with the Weight Loss Surgery Channel reporting from the 2009 annual meeting of the ASMBS and I'm joined by Dr. Emma Patterson who's a bariatric surgeon, been practicing for almost 10 years now. She's the medical director of organ weight loss surgery in Portland, Oregon. Dr. Patterson, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now one of the things you and I talked a little bit prior to sitting down here this morning, um, you were telling me about your post-operative support program that you have for your practice. Can you describe a little bit about what you've put together and from a doctor's perspective, why you've devoted so much time and energy into building out that much post-operative support? Well, we have, I mean, why I've done it is because it's weight loss and the improvements in health are all about the post-op support. I mean, as a surgeon, I do my job in the operating room, but no matter how well I do that, it doesn't guarantee that the patient's going to lose a lot of weight. And so, we have really an extensive uh, program. I mean, over 10 years, we now have about 40 people in our pro work in our program. And that includes, in terms of the clinical staff, um, two full-time dietitians, two nurse practitioners, one and a half physical therapists. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> two psychologists. Um, we have two surgeons and a, a physician assistant who helps in follow-up. And one of our most recent and important additions is we have a bariatrician and a chronologist. So we actually have a medical doctor in our program who, his name's Bill Raum, and he helps with the pre-op workup and medical optimization of the patients and plus their post-op follow-up. And so that we try to make sure that they're getting all their vitamins, they're eating healthy, they're exercising, they're getting enough protein, and so that they're maximizing their results. And I think maximizing the results is not just total weight loss, because it's the fat that we want to get rid of and have them maintain their lean body mass. And we have, with the addition of Dr. Raum, put much more focus into that. And I, I don't know many doctors actually who have spoken about that. From, uh, for patients, what do they need to focus on so that as they are focusing on weight loss, they're really losing the right kind of weight. They're losing the fat and they're preserving that lean muscle mass. Yeah, they really do um, have to focus on getting the protein, you know, getting in enough protein um, and actually getting in enough calories. If they, if they eat too little and lose weight too rapidly, um, they will lose um, muscle and bone, their lean body mass. And so getting all the vitamins, we have put much more emphasis now into vitamin D. Say, you know, we, we're, our program's in the Pacific Northwest where we don't get enough sun. And probably, in fact, everybody there, whether or not they've had weight loss surgery, needs significant amounts of vitamin D. So we give patients 50,000 units once a week. I actually take it myself, I haven't checked my levels, but there are some huge health benefits of vitamin D and helping to protect their bones. We've started to screen patients for osteopenia, osteoporosis, when they meet a certain clinical profile that they'd be higher risk, because some of the operations can increase that risk. And we've actually started measuring um, metabolic rates preoperatively so that we can some patients have an amazingly low metabolism, and for those patients, they will need much more intensive uh, support and direction and to intake much fewer calories. So the whole support team has really helps to tailor that post-op follow-up to the patient. With patients that have a slow metabolism, are there any measures Obviously, weight loss surgery will reduce their caloric intake, um, but is there any way to boost the metabolism in conjunction with that? There actually is, and we're, um, we're going to start some studies on that too, but there is some data um, on some products that Dr. Round prescribes to either boost metabolism and boost lean body mass. So he actually, um, there's a medication called ephedrine that actually has a bit of a bad reputation that's probably not deserved when you look at the literature 
because it does um, speed metabolism and it is generally safe if prescribed properly. So to boost metabolism, he will often prescribe ephedrine. Sometimes for just a smaller boost in metabolism, he'll prescribe green tea extract. Green tea actually boosts metabolism. And for boosting lean body mass, he will give people L-carnitine. And there's some evidence about uh, DHEA. So there's a variety of, of things that he does uh, to help with those aspects. That's very interesting. And your mm. post-operative patients, it sounds like they're coming back very regularly. Uh, is this weekly or monthly that they're coming in to, to have these physical assessments as well as the um, support group meetings? Yeah, we, we love them all to come back regularly. And we certainly try to promote that and do everything that we can to get them back. Not everyone, of course, comes back. Um, but for while well, the band patients come back monthly in the first year uh, for follow-up with their surgeons or, phys or physician assistant for band adjustments and counseling, we have um, our support groups. We have several types of support groups, but they are each of them are at least monthly. And then the gastric bypass and sleeve patients come back um, about every two. We recommend they come back about every two to three months in the first year. And, you know, more if they are struggling or having problems, but at least every two to three months in the first year or two. Are you seeing a correlation between the success of initial and long-term weight loss in relation to people's engagement in the post-operative support? There's some data from other programs that the more they come back, the better that they do. Um, for some patients, it seems to be so easy. If they follow everything that you tell them, it's so easy, and yet for others, it's so hard. So for each person, it's really that individual journey and working very closely with their surgeon on whatever's necessary for them. Yeah, their surgeon and the whole team, you know, and I really think there is a benefit to the psychological support, you know, not, not everybody needs it, I certainly don't think everybody has psychological problems, but it's a... It can be a difficult journey, and I think just having that support from expert psychologists is really helpful. It's another area that we're doing research in to, to try to see, you know, who needs extra support, if there's personality profiles who do better or worse, and so that you could not just screen people out, certainly, but who would need the more intensive uh, follow-up to help them do well. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time. I hope that we'll have a chance to continue to follow up with you and learn about some of the research that you're doing. I know you've got a top secret paper that'll be coming out later this year. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Thompson for the Weight Loss Surgery Channel.